Chatai. <laughs> Uh, I have to say to many great things, to great cello player, Hits. Uh, he was, we were at the same time with Professor Mare in Punta Orchestra, and he was a uh, solo cellist of the Mare Chamber Orchestra. Uh, and uh, I mean, uh, he is incredibly a uh, good man, a fantastic musician, a fantastic player, and uh, Almost five years, we haven't seen each other, we haven't hear each other something. Uh, I hope we will see it it's again and to play it again. And uh, many great things for him. Uh, I am in Turkey and hope to keep in touch with him again. All the best for Fitz, which is really great chance. <laughs> Great. Thank you. Beautiful. Chantai, my old friend from the youth orchestra. And a beautiful harp player, as you know, probably. Yeah. Probably famous in Turkey, yes. I guess. Yes, yes, we know him. Yeah. And we used to have a great time together. And he showed me many tricks about the harp. Really? Yes, I mean, he showed me how different people play the harp in different ways. So, and what was his idea of great harp playing? And, uh, he's a characterful player and a man with a big heart and big uh, humor when he plays. When was the time you were playing together? Because he says the youth orchestra, so yeah. what was it? <laughs> Can I ask? Is it a problem? Look at me now. <laughs> it, when could have, yeah, I don't know, but it must have been in the, must have been in the 90s, I don't know. But it was a, it was a long time ago. And I remember that uh, usually in the youth orchestra you have a tutor, for every section, who uh, a professional musician who works with every section. But I remember that uh, Cha Tai decided, I don't need this. I can do my own sectional rehearsal. So he called them and told them, you can uh, call your tutor and we don't need him. I will do it. <laughs> that was already a nice uh, professor home, <laughs> but uh, Cha Tai understood that in the end he has to play with his people and he would like to do it his way. So that was my first impression when I saw Cha Tai. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So how, for how many years you worked together in the youth orchestra? I mean, it was actually uh, only a couple of years, I would say, maybe two, three years. And then after a long time, we met again in the Mahler Chamber Orchestra mm. in, uh, in a nice tour in Ferrara in Italy. So that was a beautiful moment to catch up. And... Then we, then we had another uh, beautiful Turkish musician, Burak Marlali, our principal double bass. Mm -hmm. So also he was very happy to, to have a countryman in our orchestra. <laughs> so there were two Turks in, in, the, in the chamber orchestra? Yeah, there uh, were. <laughs> was this a single concert or for a period? It was uh, a couple of concerts, yes. Mm, understand. So, was this five years ago? This was probably five years ah. ago. Ah. And Sferrara is a beautiful uh, medieval town. <laughs> where you can, uh, you really have good possibilities to, to catch up and <laughs> go to restaurants together and have a drink together. And all these things. Uh, by the way, how this came to you? Because uh, uh, Dimitri Ashkenazi yeah. said hello to him. Uh huh. <laughs> then wow. he, yeah, he said hello to you. Where's Dimka? <laughs> Where's he situated? 
I haven't seen him probably even longer. Last time I think in Lucerne actually. Mm -hmm. uh, he said it has been almost 20 years that he hasn't seen Dimitri, but he understood him because uh, that was only a sound recording then. There was no video at the beginning. And he listened to, I know this accent. I know this. <laughs> this is Dimitri. <laughs> This is for Chaitai. For oh, Chaitai, yes. Yeah. Yes. Dear Chaitai, what a beautiful message you left for me. And I'm sitting here in Lucerne and now I think about you and I hope to see you very soon. And uh, good to see that you're in great shape after all these years. You look exactly the same. And uh, yes, let's meet soon. <laughs>